Anchorage, we have some answers tonight for a family grieving the loss of an up and coming Valley boxer. The 17 year old was murdered inside his own home, and today police say they have arrested two men in connection with his death. In September, 17 year old Alexis Urbina Ochoa was beaten unconscious during a robbery, and by the time his mother found him, he couldn't be saved. Phoenix police say 22 year old Robert Chavez and 23 year old Joseph Corrales are responsible. They were arrested last night while allegedly trying to sell property stolen from the home during the robbery and murder. We're told one of the suspects admitted involvement and implicated the other. The victim's family just found out about the arrest. So you can imagine their relief when they heard this news, but they made it clear these new developments in this case don't mean the fight for justice is over. ABC 15's Ryan Cummings joins us live at the 4th Avenue Jail where those suspects are being held tonight. And Ryan, you actually spoke with the victim's sister. She and her brother shared a really special bond. They did, in fact, Stephanie, and she says she is beyond excited that two people are locked up in jail tonight. She says that the pain of losing her brother will never go away, and her mission now is to continue his. Get off the ropes. I received a call at around 7 p.m. Five hours before stepping into the ring, Sulam Soto spoke with detectives. He told me he had good news. A suspect behind bars accused of killing her brother back in September. Two hours later, a second man was in custody. I felt relief that these people were going to be put away and out of the streets so that they couldn't hurt other families. But the news came just moments before a bout. You just get more emotional. So it was hard to focus, but I was able to do it. Sulam is taking part in a weekend boxing tournament in Mesa, a sport she and her brother shared for the past seven years. I told him that I would win this for him because every year we always won this together. Her husband and trainer also trained Alexis. He was a, a really good kid. Andrew Soto says the arrests bring relief, but the call was not closure. It was anger all over again. It was like reopening a wound. Alexis won the 2013 national championships back in April, even competed in the Ukraine. His mission, to bring home the gold. Oh, that was the plan, that was the goal. So he was supposed to be the 2016 Olympian for USA. And he was supposed to be in this ring this weekend. But he will never hear the bell again, or the cheers from the crowd. Instead, his sister will fight for him, in his corner, in a ring to remember what could have been. I want them uh, to know that through me he will live. Putting on the gloves to keep his memory alive. His legacy will go on. Um, his name will be known. It's going to be his name will use, be used in a positive way in the community. Now, Sulam herself plans on heading to the Olympics. She's going to be trying to earn a spot with Team Mexico, and she's also going to be competing at nationals later this month. Now, as for the suspects who are still in jail here tonight, they are facing murder charges. Police say that they stole the victim's cell phone, PlayStation, computer, and a flat screen TV, and a witness who was there during the sale ended up calling police. Stephanie? All right, Ryan Cummings reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.